Disclaimer, do not harass anyone who was included in the story, victims, witnesses, and miscellaneous. This video contains sensitive content and information. This video is purely meant for informative educational purposes only. Viewer discretion is advised. Roblox YouTuber Lopy, with over 377,000 subscribers, known for making videos on the games The Strongest Battlegrounds and Comet Warriors, has been exposed at age of 21 for sexually assaulting a 17-year-old minor. And not only that, but he has also been accused of a lot of other incidents. First off, this victim's name is disclosed. For the sake of the story, when I say Q, I'm referring to victim number one. On June 7th, 2023, Lopy met Q through the dating app Tinder. At the time, Lopy was 21 and Q was 17. Q was interested in him because she was aware of Lopi's reputation on the internet as a YouTuber and they flirted back and forth through social media. After constantly flirting with each other and talking online, both Q and Lopi met up in person. Q brought up when she met with Lopi in person, it was a terrifying experience. You randomly picked me up and put me on your lap and started hugging me and most girls would perceive that as sexual harassment and I want to explain this to you that like that is something, like I said, most girls will perceive that as sexual harassment. When you like grabbed my face and like tried to kiss me, that's not like, like that, that, that was like a big no. <laughs> it's like you went from hugging me for like, what, maybe 30 seconds and then immediately tried kissing me. Like, you did, that's not how it works. You, you putting your hands in areas you probably shouldn't. Bottom line, a lot of you proceeded to be physically aggressive with her. The fact no thought would have ever come to his mind that this was horrifically wrong to begin with is quite bizarre. The fact she was aware he's a YouTuber, which again is the reason she had interest in Lobby. I feel like he was aware of this and manipulated the situation entirely, which was confirmed when all this got out. Despite the fact this dude was being physical with her, here's what Lobby had to say about this. Oh, that, that was just me trying to hold you up. I wasn't, I wasn't actually trying to like be weird about it. There were like a few, it's like maybe like once I tried to be weird about it, but when he told me no, I wasn't trying that again. Oh, okay. Other, other times it was just me just trying to move you because it got f***ing uncomfortable. <laughs> Let me get this straight. The fact he was getting uncomfortable meant, you know what? I'm just gonna grab this innocent looking young girl. Not lightly, but with force. Put her into my lap. I'm going to grab her face and make her kiss me and pretend nothing wrong has occurred. But hey, according to Loppy, he wasn't trying to be weird and apparently he was just trying to hold her up. To make matters worse, Loppy had this to say to Q as well. I know I shouldn't normally do that, but I guess I just, in the scenario that me and you were in, I just felt like, oh, I guess you wouldn't mind, I guess. I don't know. That's probably something I shouldn't be making up like that can't apply i can i can always be wrong which i know once again i should make assumptions but it's just i guess what i'm just what i'm used to which is not a good thing to be used to by the way he genuinely thought she wouldn't care or wouldn't mind if he did any of this to her um, in my head i was like she wouldn't care she doesn't mind i'm going to re-emphasize the fact that what it sounds like to me is he's playing the victim he was hoping he didn't get exposed for offending any of these victims and his manipulation at its finest the youtuber gone fishing actually had a chance to interview him but that interview will be later in the video. Earlier this year, after talking with what he thought was a beautiful young girl, for a short period of time, Loppy sexted this person. In fact, he sent this person a D picture. What made this small incident insane was the fact this person, their name being unknown, catfished Loppy and leaked his D picture. Why am I bringing this up? After Loppy discovered his genitals was leaked onto the internet, he actually created a small Discord group chat for people to defend him that this was not his genitals, but someone else's junk. This person and someone else I left a group chat have both said I did not pull it out. In this group chat, it had Loppy, someone he knew, and two people who were below 18 years of age and were minors, both being 17. Sadly enough, he would constantly brag to all the people inside this group chat about his genital size, knowing there's minors inside this group chat, and he called himself the one and only white drake. That definitely did not age well. In the same group chat, on Discord, Loppy went into a video call with the 17-year-old minors and with barely any clothing on, he flashed them. He flashed them multiple times. One of the victims jokingly asked Loppy to show his genitals. What happens next? Well, he does it again without any hesitation. As bad as this is, there are more victims. This next victim's name and information was disclosed too. As part of the video, I will be referring to this victim as Jamie. Months prior to the incident with the first victim, Jamie recently came out to expose Loppy after hearing about the video 400k subs YouTuber assaulted a minor gone fishing release. Funny enough, after that video got out, Loppy tried DMing Jamie in regard to meeting up again. Mind you, in the past, Loppy he sexually assaulted Jamie too. According to this victim, this incident took place between late 2022 to early 2023. Here's what Jamie had to say about this. So I'm gonna try to make this as short as possible, but anyways, I met him on a dating app and I didn't know he was a YouTuber at first, but he told me he was. And when I first met him, because he lives like 30 minutes from me, so I drove kind of away. 
we were in his car, and he wouldn't, like, let me go to his house or anything. We wouldn't, like, go. He wanted to meet late at night, like, in 3 in the morning in some parking lot of a soccer field. So we did that. And <laughs> this is so dumb, and I know it's dumb. I did get into his car, and he's just, like, showing me his bank account, being like, I'm a YouTuber. And then when he showed me wh wh what he was a YouTuber for, I was like, oh, because I'm, I'm not really like into Rob, Roblox or anything like that and he's just like showing me his money and stuff and then um, it got weird really quickly where he's like can I just touch your boobs can I, can I please 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 can I touch them please can you can you show me them please please and he would like be like leading like like with his hands together you know like like please it's like like i was so grossed out by that he would just be like the back seat we can get in the back seat and da 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 because he wanted to like do it with me in the car i guess and he would like grab my leg or my thigh not my leg but he would touch my thighs and stuff and he did end up just kind of touching my boobs even though i was not wanting him to and it was obviously uncomfortable he just like did it anyways and he's like i just i just can't control myself i can't and um we didn't hang out very long <laughs> but um after that he would ask me like from time to time to be like can i you know have nudes or can you come see me what are you doing do you want to come hang out I was like, no i didn't care that he was a youtuber he was just a creepy fucking guy and that's about it. This sounds pretty similar to the incident with Q, Loppy and a victim meeting on a dating app, flirting and texting back and forth, eventually meeting up, and Loppy does some freaky stuff and pretends nothing wrong has occurred. What I'm trying to get my head wrapped around is this guy met up with Jamie late at night in an empty park while nobody's around to report anything suspicious and non-consensually gets physical with her. He touches her thigh, her breast, and it's awful. What blows my mind is the fact that these are the incidents and the ones that were reported and documented. I genuinely believe there are other victims Loppy offended too. Despite the fact that Loppy admitted to the first victim, he's been with other girls prior to meeting with Q. Interestingly enough, I did not do this interview, but Gone Fishing had a chance to do an interview with Loppy. For context, Loppy was doing a lot of guilt tripping, he was lying about his unlawful actions, and he was pretending as if he had no idea that he sent suspect photos in that Discord group. The Discord group chat I'm referring to is the one in the Loppy covering up chapter of this video. You'll put two and two together after I show you the clip from the interview i don't remember if i talked about my though that's the thing interesting so so they're talking about they're talking about your there yes so yeah i guess so i mean they are i, mean, I didn't pull it out but but then why are they saying it as if as if you did after lying about the fact he showed his genitals after gone fishing revealed the chat logs from the discord group chat which it's blurred out by the way it was obvious that the miners were pointing out the fact he still proceeded to send nudes to the discord group chat despite the original intentions of creating this discord group chat after getting exposed for these things he started guilt tripping and saying things along the lines of i don't want to get harassed don't want people to do that to me see it for yourself i just i just don't I just don't want this to like fucking blemish my fucking life. I don't want to get harassed or I just don't want people to have it do that to me. And now people are going to harass me for it. He tried saying he didn't want to get harassed all because of a joke. Let's get this straight. It's a joke for Loppy to indecently expose minors to graphical imagery. But when someone else does it, they get in trouble and it's not a joke. That's not how it works. When doing what he did to these people, he came in with the intentions of sexually assaulting and sexting them. Again, it's all manipulation and not taking accountability for his actions. What's weird is despite Loppy being stubborn and a liar, with hesitation he verbally admits to showing his genitals while putting on his screen the cap. I didn't do it. I showed my penis to minors. Showed my penis to minor. In another clip, he tried giving an excuse for flashing his boxers to the two minors from the Discord group chat. Picture of me in my boxers, like, because I had my camera on and I pointed down at my camera, lying that I actually pulled it out, which I did not. You know, I just thought it was a harmless joke, which obviously it isn't. What makes everything so much worse is that he tried saying I'm going to make mistakes. Some people make mistakes worse than others with a sad voice tone to make all this seem like nothing bad has occurred. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm not perfect. You know, some people make worse mistakes than others, and 
I've made quite a few bad mistakes. Overall, this was pretty bad. This is not the entire story, but it's safe to say this guy proposes a threat to younger people. Again, the victims that came clean were the only ones that we're all aware of. It doesn't make any sense to simply offend up to five victims and never sexually assault or sex other victims. That could be the case, but very unlikely. As we've seen in the past, the majority of the time, when a criminal has a history of doing the same crimes repetitively, they're most likely going to do it again. That's it for the video. I do not take credit for most of the evidence as I found this information from Gone Fishing video, Green Lego Cat 123's video, and Carlo's YouTube videos on Loppy. Also, I have good news. It was recently confirmed Loppy left YouTube due to the controversy. Honestly though, although he is cancelled from the internet, how do we know for certain he won't continue to offend other victims and ruin other lives? We may never know. All I can say is hopefully these videos, including this one, spread awareness to people.